Virgo, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 6th through the 12th, guys. What's going on in your love life within the proximity of November 6th through the 12th? Let's get straight into it, guys. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to dial down. I'm going to see what's good and I'm going to I'm going to tell you what's good. All right? I'm also going to tell you what's bad. I'll tell you what that this is a love reading, guys, but I'm not trying to dress it up like some sort of chick flick, all right? So, I'm going to be extra mean. No, I'm not. We go from the 6th through the 12th. Let's get into it. Fucking hell, man. We're already off to a rocky start, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my. Okay. I'm going to stop using the Lord's name in vain. I'll just say bloody hell. Fuck. God damn. What's next? All right. All right. But then again, this is in the challenge position. This is what you must attain. This is what you must work towards is masterfully seeking balance it's going to require effort it's going to require focused energy but balance is attainable ladies and gentlemen in fact balance is what's needed at this very time in your life moving along there you are baby the fucking magician the creator the manifester of ideas that's going to be interesting to look into in just a moment, but that is what's in the subconscious position. So what this is telling me is that you actually believe in yourself, Virgo. You believe in yourself. You believe in your, in, in your, your ability to manifest. You may not think of it in those terms. All right. You, in fact, may not even believe in manifestation through the mind power alone, but you do believe in yourself. And that's the same thing. All right. Now. God damn. In the past, we had a transformation here with this Plutonic death card. In the present, we have another destructive transformative card. Mars. Martian card. As you see the symbol of Mars. You see it right there, man. This is the masculine energy. It's the assertive. It's the breaker. You see, once upon a time in the abyss, there was an empty womb of darkness. And it was the masculine energy that penetrated the darkness, that asserted itself into creation. When God said, let there be light. Light, that action was a masculine principle. All right. Now, moving along. There you are, Virgo. Standing tall and proud within your own mind, ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that you may be surrounded by some serious fucking chaos, man. You seem to be keeping cool. You seem to be keeping cool, Virgo. I'm speaking to some badass Virgos. That's it. All right. But, you know, typically Virgos are quite sound. You know, you guys, I think your pragmatism just allows you to move above your emotions compared to a Pisces or a Cancer, an emotional wreck. You know what I mean? You are a little more logical. You are most certainly stirred by emotions and you feel these things as we are all human. However, you have the intellect, the mentalism to rise above that. That is powerful. That is your power. All right. Look at man, from the death to the tower to the chariot, whatever disastrous situation you're going to be experiencing during this time is meant for you. It's the catalyst to you taking the fuck off. That is what I'm saying here, Virgo. Speaking of which, you are appearing as the embodiment of the Ace. All right, the Ace of Wands. This is action, ladies and gentlemen. This is action. Virgo is not sitting on their ass. They believe in themselves. They see themselves as someone high and worthy. All right. Things that do not pertain to one are being eradicated and making way for absolute progression. However, that progression is in the future. As of now, let's focus on the present, on the catastrophe of what 
doesn't pertain in your life, of ridding yourself from obstacles and moving towards a sense of balance, ladies and gentlemen, of harmonizing. All right, what are you going to do with this destruction? Are you going to be destroyed or are you going to master this destruction and use it as an impetus to create as you wish, Virgo? Whomever you're involved with is someone from the past. This is an existent relationship. This is something that has a sense of history. All right, now you're done with stagnancy. You're done with stagnancy. So what am I getting here? Virgo, you might have been sleeping on a relationship. All right. A relationship could have been surrounded by some serious tumultuousness. But you are slowly and surely been moving towards self-empowerment, which you have now attained. And it seems as if you are now asserting. All right. Hmm. Hmm. There's still a sense of uncertainty, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on here? This is interesting. I'm talking you up, Virgo. And here towards the end of the week, we see the sense of dubiousness. What's going on here? Are your uh, actions not going to be met properly? What's going to happen here? Why? What's going on? What's happening? Why, why is this? Help me, Help me understand. Boom. All right. So, Virgo, I. Okay, look, guys. I see. I see how you see yourself, Virgo, and there's a lot of worth, a lot of self worth, uh, which indicates self love. All right. This is good. This is self appreciation. This is this is you seeing yourself for who you are. All right. There isn't a skewed pers perspective here. All right. Nevertheless, that's not to say that you have not been through some hurtful times. I do see wounds, and wounds are still present. All right. You wouldn't be trying to masterfully attain balance in your life if you weren't experiencing imbalance. However, what I'm seeing, ladies and gentlemen, I get that there's a distrust. There's a distrust. All right. Not within you, not within your abilities, not within your motion, your energy and your ability to attain what you want, but more so in whomever it is that you're dealing with. OK, that is what I'm seeing. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. There's a sense of uncertainty here in regards to to whom you're dealing with, Virgo. So, cross watcher, Virgo's a bit weary about you, man. Virgo's a bit weary about you is what I'm saying. Now, let's clarify this tower here. What's going on? What's this tower? What's this tower? I know it's linked with this ace. What's this tower? Virgo, what are you doing? What commotion are you bringing about in your life? What's, what are you stirring up? Mind you. Mind you, at times, destruction is necessary for cultivation. All right? Destruction is necessary for cultivation at times. Look at the solar systems, right? There's, uh, what do you call them? Supernovas. Suns, essentially, stars explode and spread unimaginable miles across the universe. Ultimately, attraction or love, attraction between opposites, binary forces come together and they slowly but surely begin to form spheres which we term planets or other stars. And those spheres produce life and so on and so forth. So, ladies and gentlemen, you were born from, more than likely, our solar system was born from a fucking explosion. All right. Um, that's just a metaphor for what I'm trying to convey to you in which destruction is necessary at times to make room for growth, for something new. All right. Now, Virgo, 
<clears throat> what what is it that you're compelled towards? What is this, this what is this ace that I'm seeing here? This ace that you're propelling forward. It's good guys, it's good because as soon as I see the clock, I, it was 10-10. So tell me, what is this? <clears throat> What's going on with Virgo? Alright. Okay, man. Alright, Virgo, so you're basically taking action to see what's going to happen. Alright, are we moving deeper into commitment? Or are we moving toward independence? That is where I see the compelling force to your action. All right, where is this going, man? Where is this going? Balance is required. What is going to happen, right or left, together or separate? Virgo, I'm gonna take this to the extended. I'm gonna bore into this individual. What energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions towards you? If this was your reading, I will see you in the extended. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, have a blessed week. I'll see you soon.